How often do you think about the inductance of leaded resistors? Probably not that often, but their inductance can have a significant effect in some circumstances. We often use leaded resistors, uh, even today, when we make up circuits uh, uh, using them uh, to build a circuit possibly at home or if we just want to try out another circuit. And we may not have all the surface mount equipment needed to make uh, a circuit up uh, using surface mount technology. They can be more convenient at times. Today's uh, leaded resistors uh, are most commonly the metal film types uh, and these are cheap, they perform well and they have low noise, high stability, high accuracy. So they're a very good resistor. But these metal film resistors do have a measurable amount of inductance and we can see why if we look into their construction. They consist of a metal film deposited onto a ceramic cylinder. A helical cut is made into this uh, film to reduce or to increase the length and reduce the width and thereby increase the resistance to what is required. Although the inductance is relatively small, it is still there and can have an effect sometimes. It's worth bearing this in mind um, when you use them with high frequencies, for example, in RF circuits or in circuits with fast edges and high clock speeds. It's interesting to note that modern surface mount resistors, uh, which you also use metal film uh, technology, don't have a helical cut, so they have a much lower level of inductance. And it's also interesting uh, that the old carbon composition resistors, which we don't want to use these days generally, have a low inductance because of their construction, but they do have other issues like high noise, um, lack of stability, and the, the resistance level will move uh, from time to time. But returning to our metal film resistors, it's worth remembering that the spurious levels of inductance found in them are small, but they can have an effect in some circuits, so we need to remember that when using them.